Yo, what's up sa mga kabalbas ko dyan? Kabalbas, back at it for another reaction video. And I just woke up again. <laughs> Grabe, kanina gumawa ako ng reaction video. Uh, kanina nag-record ako. Just woke up. And ngayon, just woke up ulit uh, from my power nap. Grabe, ano? Um, grabe yung party na yun. <laughs> anyway, uh, pagkagising ko, ang dami kong nabasa about uh, this bulan. Um... I-check ko daw yung gawa ni Sir Chuck, si si Bro Chuck, Casual Chuck. Um, andun yung explanation niya. Actually, plan ko naman talaga siyang panoorin mamayang gabi. But ang dami na kasing nag-comment. So, i-check ko na. And sabi nila doon, malalaman ko yung story ng uh, ano ba yun? Ay, ano yung ano? Yung lumabas na parang dragon, snake, something. Bakunawa. Bakunawa, right? Yeah, Bakunawa. So, eto. Uh, total 10 minutes lang naman. Bago ako mag-linis-linis <laughs> ulit sa bahay. Let's go, baby. Oh yeah. What's up, mga kapatid? Kapal bas. 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 The world is full of mystery. This is where I am. Whoa. This is the island of Palawan. What's interesting is that it's bro. Pahusay ng pahusay si Chuck. Wide open. What's more interesting is the island right next to it. Yep, it's a crescent shape, just like the moon. So does mm. this prove the legend of the Bakunawa? Or is it just oh. a bunch of air in my gut? Okay. <laughs> the Philippines is a country rich in tradition and our ancient folklore mm. isn't something to be undervalued. Unfortunately, the rise of social media has made our younger generations clueless about it. Something has to happen to make it better. <laughs> and what else is better than Philippe's latest banger? As the reminder, May 4, 2022. Philippe announced this. 18 were like. Gusto ko yung style chat ngayon. Napi na pasukan yun ngano mga clips na. It was plain obvious that the next song is going to be based on Filipino mythology. But doesn't it feel like deja vu? It makes me want to say, I think I've seen this <laughs> film before. SB19 has definitely done this many times. Just take a look okay. at Mana. <laughs> it's a song based on a mythical yeah. creature called Mana Nangal that flies at night to hunt humans and leaves its lower body in a safe place. This cleverly became their metaphor for humbleness because they are performers who seek great heights when it comes to musical success but they always keep their feet on the ground. What about mm. what? What? It's the song where they mention the Iron Maiden. <laughs> an ancient torture method that puts a person in a standing sarcophagus full of metal blades inside. It might okay. be simple at first, but if you get locked into it for days, you'd end up falling asleep only to wake up over and over again to the pain of blades piercing your body until you give up Ooh. and up killing yourself when you couldn't stand anymore. Once again, uh -oh. their collective inventiveness made such a horrifying thing a symbol. Okay, wait lang. Interesting, ha? Grabe yung mga... Uh... Oh, ang dami kong natutunan dito. Il nakakailang minuto pa lang ako. 2 minutes, 29 seconds. Pero ang dami ko nang na na nakuhang ano ha. Good job, Chuck. So, um, so far, uh, this is very informa informational uh, uh, documentary ni Chuck. And tama nga, tama nga yung sinabi, sinasabi sa mga comment section na do, dito, dito ko malalaman. And yeah, uh, hindi ko pa nakakalhati pero punong-puno na ng ano. <laughs> galing, ang galing. Okay, tuloy natin. Life trials. Enter Pablo. Ah! This song talks about the two lives of a werewolf mm. which creatively depicted the story of converting self-doubt into acceptance and self-love. Mm. But all of these things were nothing compared to this power of manifestation. Just take a listen to this line. Josh Loki predicted Philippe's second single. What? In Philippine mythology, the Bakunawa is the dragon that swallows and causes eclipses. 
Yun! Bisa Espanyol. The word was even listed in the Visayan Spanish dictionary which is a direct translation of the eclipse of the moon. Wow. Once upon a time, Bathala created seven moon deities with the purpose to light up each night of the week. Mm -hmm. They were Subang, Banilig, Banolor, Bayari, Libulan, Bulan, Grabe, ang research ni Chuck dito ah. During the night okay, my ad. Yes, I have to finish this for brother Chuck. Two ads. Okay. During the nighttime, Bulan, together with his siblings, sometimes comes down to the air to ease their boredom. Different birds would flock, and reclusive mermaids would surface together mm. and become friendly with the animals to appreciate the siblings' unparalleled beauty and alluring presence. From the dark corners of the deep, the Bakunawa saw their majestic light, which immediately made the dragon obsessed to possess one of them. So it decided to emerge and succeeded in swallowing Suba in one gulp. Sa comics pala to. Bakunawa returned to the deep as it felt warm and its domain shined with the brightness of Subang's light. But it only lasted temporarily because the moon gradually melted in its gut. This frustrated the Bakunawa so it flew to the sky to devour yet another moon. Oh. Aliyah was his target this time because her radiant light was just irresistible. Oh, okay. But her twin brothers Banilig and Banolor defended her so they ended up getting swallowed instead. Oh. The serpent then retreated again to enjoy his spoils. This scared the heck out of the remaining siblings so Libulan got himself rescued by his suitor Sidapa the god of death okay. who fell in love with him despite knowing they have the same gender Mayari also left for the purpose of challenging Ooh. Apulakai the sun god to rule over the earth Apulakai is the Lucan word Apulakai losing an eye so she would end up settling down by marrying a mortal man who would become the country's first shaman interesting stories for sure but it's for another video daddy chill <laughs> anyway, after a few nights, the obsession of the Bakunawa took a turn for the worse as the two moons melted in its stomach yet again. At this point, only two moons remain, Bulan and Haliya. Wow! The Bakunawa aimed for Haliya but Bulan defended her so he ended up getting swallowed instead. In desperation to save Bulan, Haliya mustered the light of the stars which conjured a magic sword that she used to strike the Bakunawa. Okay. She managed to hurt the dragon which resulted in spitting out Bulan. Oh. But he was no longer a god. He became a mere young mortal boy. Alia saw this as an opportunity to keep Bulan safe so she continued to defend herself from the Bakunawa by using her sword for as long as she could. She became a capable warrior and started to cover her face to grieve for his lost brothers and hide her ravishing beauty. Wow. Meanwhile, Bulan only remembers his name and retained his oh, wait lang. And ang galing, ang galing bro Chuck. Para akong nanonood na ng ano, ng totoong documentary na uh, parang short short film na talaga. Ang galing, ang galing ng documentation mo. Ang galing. Yung, yung clips na pinapasok mo sa tapos sa, sa narration mo. Ang galing para para talaga akong nanonood ng ano ba? Yung pwede ko siyang i-compare sa Mala Mala Nat Geo ano na uh, documentary. Ang galing. Talaga na ako I, I'll, I'll be honest with you, I'm not interested about this one, about the, the kwento. Pero while listening, while watching, man, parang wow. It's amazing. Parang nagugustuhan ko siya. Seriously, pare. <laughs> I have to admit, wala talaga akong kahilig-hilig sa mga ganitong bagay. But parang, wait lang, parang gusto ko na to ah. I mean, bro, Jack, come on. Okay, tuloy na din. Naive attitude. He had this occasional vision of a Bakunawa swallowing a moon. So he started telling it to the townspeople, which scared the heck out of them. Bulan enjoyed it, so he did it more often until the people realized it wasn't true. Mm. He was then branded as a liar. Oh. On one fateful night, Bulan saw the Bakunawa emerging from the lake, soaring to devour the moon. He immediately told the townspeople about it, but no one would believe him anymore. So he went to distract the Bakunawa by himself. It started chasing him. As Bulan ran for his life, he crashed upon a pile of cooking pans and fell. As he looked back, the Bakunawa was already retreating to the depths. Bulan made such a loud noise that it woke the villagers so they saw wow. the Bakunawa as it was leaving. That is when they confirmed that it was true. 
Bulan proceeded to warn them because the Bakunawa might come back anytime soon to consume the moon. Okay, cute pa. Rang cute ng kwento. To fight back and protect the moon as he discovered the Bakunawa's weakness. So the whole village prepared and built the biggest weapon to defeat the evil dragon. When the Bakunawa surfaced again, the people were ready as they rallied together and started making as much noise as possible. However, the Bakunawa still managed to swallow the moon. But not until they rang the biggest gong they ever built. Ooh, ang galing! Ang galing ng kwento pare, seryoso. The sound destroyed Bakunawa's wings and it inflicted so much pain that it had to spit Ooh. out. The Bakunawa fell hard into the water and would never be seen again for a long time. Wow. Bulan had no idea that the moon he just saved was actually his twin sister. Okay. The legend says that Bakunawa to this day still attempts to swallow the moon once every two mm -hmm. and a half years. That's when the legend of the blood ah. moon was born. The explanation behind the moon's red color is the blood from Halia's wounds inflicted by Ooh, Bakunawa's deadly okay. bite. This scene represents an ancient childhood game called Bulan Bulan. 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 It's just so commendable how Philippe is creatively bringing back his country's rich ancient culture as it deserves to be remembered for generations to come. In Philippe's universe, the Bakunawa symbolizes the haters. The eclipse represents trials and tribulations. To save the moon from it, Philippe, along with his people, creates music. Music that produces a sound so profound that it wow. sends shockwaves that ignites Halia's burning <laughs> desire to fight back and pare. cast away this evil being. After all, Halia is us. We are Philippe's Bula. Wow! Wow! <laughs> Mind blowing, pare. Wow. Tapos na ba? Oh, special thanks. Grabe, pare. I told you guys. Wait lang, tapusin natin. Yeah, tapos na. I told you, sabi ko wala talaga akong hilig sa mga ganitong uh, <laughs> hindi ko talaga siya hilig sa mga ganitong bagay lalo na yung mga uh, in, basta hindi ko talaga hilig eh, pare. pero while listening and while watching parang nagka-interest tuloy ako parang gusto ko talaga siyang i-research na pero alam mo yun, ang galing kasi mag-explain ni Chuck, ang galing kasi niyang i-timing ng, alam mo yun, yung tipong uh, parang papunta ka na sa boring part pero bigla siyang may, may, may sasabing ano, exciting part, may twist ang galing, uh, parang nahook tuloy ako sa mga ganitong bagay <laughs> kasi wala talaga akong hilig and uh, ano pa ba uh, ayun, sa comment section ko kanina ang dami din nagsabing uh, Ilocano sila, I'm happy and nalaman ko dun na yung mother or lola ni Ken is Ilocano yata and na-shoot daw sa Ilocos yun yung, yung MV and ano pa ba yeah good job Jack good job ang galing ang galing uh, plano ko naman talagang panoorin ito mamayang gabi uh, before sleeping pero hindi na ako makapagintal ang dami na nag-comment and na-curious na tuloy ako so ayun uh, nalaman ko yung origin origin ang galing ano and then sumakto pa yung nagiging background music ni ni Jack tapos uh, sa uh, genre or theme ng ng music ni, ni MV ni Ken ang galing pare na na si mo ba yun <laughs> job good job Ayun, anyway, thank you so much sa mga nag-recommend nito, nag-request. Uh, at least nalaman ko talaga ng ng uh, full info about about the the bulan, about the ba, Kunawa, Halia. Basta actually papanoorin ko siya ulit. Sobrang nahook ako, nahook na ako. Ganun pala. Uh, ang sarap palang manood ng ganito. Ang sarap palang aralin yung ganito. So, uh, for sure and after recording this, um papanoorin ko siya ulit. So, thank you so much for watching. Kabalba signing out. Baby.